do magic with these hands, but I'm going to try. Oh, 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 I'm okay. Well, welcome one and all. Oh, there's a great show in front, wasn't it? Yeah. Man, oh man, those guys are good. Young, talented, good looking. I hate those fuckers. <laughs> back room, folks, tonight, I will be performing my magic with my hands completely nude. <laughs> you know you want to. Go ahead. No, with your teeth like last night. What a pleasure it is to be here this evening and fun, fun evening. Great entertainment. Got, kind of a great, uh, got a great bunch of stuff to show you tonight. Do I, first of all, do I look okay? Do I look all right? Yeah. I just wanted this. It's a brand new suit. I just got it today. And uh, <laughs> real friendly store that kept saying, "Come back, come back." <laughs> I'll be back there. That's for sure. <laughs> Oh, people in Chicago are so friendly, aren't they? I was walking down the street and the lady said, You have a nice one. I said, Thanks for noticing. <laughs> well, let's talk about magic, shall we? I've been doing magic a long, long time, it's true. And let's face it, if you're really a magician, there are two things you want to do. You want to find out if people are lying, and you want to make money. So let's talk about money, shall we? I'd like to begin this evening with the dollar bill mystery. It's a mystery with a dollar bill. Wait a minute, should I use my dollar bill, sir, or one of yours? All right, make sure it's real. <laughs> I don't want you to think of some trick dollar bill that you get at the magic shop. Not that such places exist, so don't look them up on the internet. All right? All right. Watch carefully. This is a little lesson on how to make your money multiply. You see, when I'm not performing magic, I'm actually a financial advisor. And so this is a little lesson I'd love to share with people. How to make your money multiply. You think a dollar bill, or any bill for that matter, fold it exactly in half. Do you see that? I just doubled my money. <laughs> and I can do the same for you for 28%. <laughs> All right, wait, it's better. See, if you fold it in half again the other way, and then you fold it a third time in half like this. And this is the important one. Once you fold it one more time like this, now you see the bill increases. It increases. It's in. Hey, wait a second. I think it did increase. Hold on a second. Do you see what I see? Whoa. A hundred dollars. Whoa, and that was your dollar, wasn't it, sir? Congratulations. Oh, folks, we have a hundred dollar winner here. Let's give a big round of applause. Second, you didn't give me a dollar, did you, no. sir? Damn it! Oh, man. That looks so real, too, doesn't it? Is that Ben Franklin on the front there? Is that, you know why Ben Franklin was always my favorite president? You know why? Because yeah. <laughs> he was never president, exactly right. Like the current guy. But anyway, okay. I'll get this to you as a souvenir, but I'm disappearing in. Do you have any on your fingers? It'll wash off, don't worry about it. Yeah. See, here's the thing I went down to the magic shop, I said, give me some of that magic ink. And all they had was the uh, <laughs> all they had was the disappearing kind. So I stick some of it in my ring here, and then it sticks to the bill. But the only problem is it only lasts about 28 or 29 seconds, and then it uh, yeah it disappears. Oh. I know it's sad, isn't it? Oh, isn't that sad? 99 bucks gone. Just stop it when I was ahead. Next time, stop it, will you, sir? Thank you. I appreciate that. Good. Well, let's see. Uh, what do we do next here? Right? Oh, I don't know. I know what everybody, every magician has to have one of these, and I have one right here. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I don't remember buying plums. <laughs> oh, look! It's a little bunny rabbit. Isn't that sweet? Oh, it's so sweet. Not a lie, it's just a phone bunny. It's very soft, though. Isn't it soft? Feel that. <laughs> Magicians are dicks, aren't they? <laughs> Very nice. What's your name? Ashley. Would you examine that rabbit, please? Have you folks ever heard of that great trick called sawing the lady in half? You heard that, haven't you? You heard that trick before? Would you like to see that here tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Ashley, come on down the stage. Here. No, I'll tell you what. I'll cut the bunny in two instead. See, it's foam, so when you press down, you see how it flattens out? See that? I'll cut it in two. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I cut it in two. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Bunny. This is Pete and his beautiful wife, Zelda. Pete and Zelda. You know how I tell them apart, sir? Their names are different. This is me, this is Zelda. Try to keep up, okay? Now look, I'm gonna hold Pete in my left hand, and Zelda in my right hand. Watch what happens, Ashley. Did you see it? It disappears. Oh. But it doesn't actually disappear. It runs up my sleeve and across my shoulders and down my arm, and I catch it when you're not looking. Isn't that crazy? That's not some motor, Ashley. Look, I'll hold on to Pete, you hold on to Zelda. Squeeze as hard as you can. 
Did you get really the magic wand? Whoa, it's gone. Did you feel anything? No. Hmm, take a look. Whoa. <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? Wow. Hey, I have an idea. How about if I give you both bunnies? I'll both jump from your hand to my hand. That'll be good, won't it? All right, hold out your hand. Here, hold your other hand. Squeeze it as hard as you can. My finger back, maybe later. Hold on. <laughs> Both go from your hand to mine, ready? There's the first one. There's the second one. Let me make sure I have them both. Yep, there they are. Now that's the easy part. The hard part is to make them go back. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? Wow. Did you feel them leave your hand? No. Oh, really? Did you feel them go back in your hand? No. She's not feeling good today. <laughs> you have both of the bunnies? Take a look. <laughs> cocktail napkin? Is this possible? Oh, many years of twisting those small squares of paper. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> what are you talking about, you? <laughs> after the show. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. Are you ready for the best part? No, beautiful. No, it's just like a napkin. <laughs> Give her a big round of applause. Your rabbits, that's where you go. Oh, look, I'm required by the Magician Union in Chicago to do a card trick. I don't even like card tricks, but the Magician Union is so strong here, I've got to do a card trick. Does anybody have a deck of cards I can borrow? Anybody? <laughs> okay, I'll use mine. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. Here we go. Ooh, that's good, huh? Ooh, impressive. Ooh, that's impressive, huh? If you're not careful, they go everywhere. So <laughs> Wrong cards. Does anybody else have a deck of cards I can borrow? Nobody? Ha! Huh. Don't worry, folks. <laughs> if you ever find yourself in this situation, you find a somewhat receptive audience, you have no deck of cards. Well, worry no longer, ladies and gentlemen, because I, the amazing Bivik, am the inventor, manufacturer, and sole distributor of this, the Decomatic. Yes. <laughs> With the Decomatic, all you need to do is to merely press a button, and a brand new deck of playing cards <laughs> is instantly <laughs> delivered to your face. Part of, uh, the hardest part of doing magic is opening up the damn door. Oh, Do you know that? Hold on, I've got a knife here somewhere. Whoa. I found this on the floor there. Well, did everybody lose this knife on his hands? Nice looking knife. Oh, that is that ivory or marble? I'm not sure. Is that gold? Are you an expert, sir? I don't know. Did, everybody, did you lose this knife, sir? It's right by the front door there. It's a little. Well, that's oh. weird. Hold on a minute. Okay, that is weird. A minute ago, I thought it was white, didn't you? I don't know. I can't see it very well. The lighting in here is odd. I don't remember if it was white or if it was red. I can't recall. Unless it's red and white. It's Polish. Damn yeah, Polish. <laughs> hey, how do you do? Polish flag. I don't know. That's a Polish flag. Is that good? My people. Right over here. That's nice. <laughs> I put the blade away before I hurt myself. Ooh, that was weird. Ooh, weird. I wonder if it'll turn in the other colors. Ooh, that's crazy. What's your favorite color? Do you have a favorite color? Yes. What is it? Black. Black, the color of mystery. Black. We like you here. That's nice. What's your favorite color? Green. That's not it. Any other favorites? <laughs> Keep going. Anybody else? Teal. No? Teal. 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 Go in the car. Maybe if you were to mix red and white together, you get a nice... Pink. Okay, if you insist. Pink. Pink. Uh oh I think I squeezed too hard. I forgot about my super magician strength. I think I broke it. Oh, man. Oh, great. Wait, there's pink. Hold on, there's pink. Go on. Oh, yeah. There we go. Pink. <laughs> Hey man, are you laughing at me? I got a knife, dude. I can cut you. Eventually. Oh, 
Hi, good. Let's get back to the cards, shall we? No, nothing like a brand new deck of cards. Mmm, that new card smell. That's nice. Usually available only from the dealers. Ah, <laughs> By the way, who are the small chicken? Is it, uh... Hold on a second. It's the wrong thing. All right, good. All right, let's take a look at these. Let's see here. Oh, brand new deck of cards. Oh, nice. I started doing cards, just like many of the magicians here. I started doing card tricks a long, long time ago. I'll never forget my, uh, my neighbor kid down the street called me up one day. He said, hey, baby, come on down. I've got something to show you. We went out behind his garage and had a brand new deck of cards. And that's when I became hip, when I became hooked on cards. I'll tell you what, it was, you know, it started out like uh, most regular uh, things, you know. You start out doing card tricks for other people, but then pretty soon you're doing magic for yourself. And uh, it's, a, it's a terrible thing, actually. But uh, I'd like to have somebody here pick out a card from this deck here. Oh, hold on a second, let me get through the jokers here, hold on a second. Just a second here. All right. Okay, I'd like to have somebody pick out a card. Jeez. <laughs> Jokers in these decks, don't they? All right, let me do that. Yes. Hold on a second here. All right, good. Just a second. Okay, good, I got it. All right, now I'm going to have some pretty stranger pick out a card. You seem pretty strange. Would you pick out a card? So uh, just run, run right through the. Wait, hold on a second here. This one. <laughs> favorite cards? You can have a, oh, a straight deck of cards. You can have a, oh, split cards. <laughs> and every magician's favorite, invisible cards. There they are. Hmm, nice, aren't they? Have you ever seen invisible cards before? Not surprising. Very few people have. I get the cards a little bit of a shuffle. Are you a card player? Perfect. We'll play for money. What's your name? Crystal. How are you doing, Crystal? Where do you live? She forgot. That's all right. Okay. A lot of pressure, I understand. Questions do get harder as they go along. <laughs> all right, Crystal. All right. Take one out if you would, please, Crystal. Get this one. Okay, good. Take a look at it. You didn't get the ace of spades, did you? All right, good. Show everybody else in the audience. I don't want to see it. Okay. Want to see it? Yep. Oh, yeah. Drunks. Oh, yeah. All right, good. I'm going to turn the cards face up. Slide your card in face down if you wouldn't mind. And somewhere here I have a box. Here we go. Put the cards back in the box. You take the box of cards, Crystal. I'm gonna step back here, and at the count of three, I want you to throw that box of cards right in my face, okay? Don't hold back. All right, ready? Here we go. One, two, three! Oh my goodness, whoa. That was a good throw. <laughs> wow, did you see them? They went through the time and space continuum. Right here, I caught them as you, right before they hit my face. Now, you remember you took out a card from this deck, don't you? Did you look at it? What card did you see? What card did you see? Did everybody see it? Was it the Six of Diamonds or is she shit with it? <laughs> you saw it? Six of Diamonds? Well, let me take a look here. Hold on a second. If in, fact, if in fact what you say is true, there should be a card upside here in the deck. Isn't that right? That's right. Now, of course, oh, not another joker. All right. Hold on here. Let me take a look at these cards. Let me see here. I don't see a Six of Diamonds anywhere. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. There's a card upside down. Hey, Crystal, wouldn't that be weird if it were the Six of Diamonds? I can't believe it. Would you look? One card out of the entire deck. What card is it? What is it? <laughs> that never worked before. Man, this is crazy. Man, oh man, you're, you've got great imagination. Good. A little imagination I am going on here, as you do. All right, good. Well, let's move along, shall we? You guys are really cheering me up. I got some bad news today earlier. I'm, uh, I'm glad you guys came here tonight and cheered me up. I got some bad news. I uh, actually found out my aunt died today. And uh, I know I'm very upset. And uh, <laughs> sad, really. I know. It's my last dance. <laughs> so that's dedicate my show to her tonight, okay? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Bugging me all day. <laughs> there we go. Let's move along, shall we? Good. I gotta be 
honest, I can't do my entire show for this evening. A couple of reasons. We, uh, uh, we don't have a lot of time here this afternoon, this evening, but uh, the other reason is I hurt myself recently. Aww. Aww. Thank you for that fake sympathy. I uh, actually, well, I was drunk. I tripped and I fell, and uh, I don't, well, I really shouldn't admit this. I, uh, I used to have a problem with drugs and alcohol, but uh, I used to struggle with drugs and alcohol, but now I'm pretty good at it, actually. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, I tripped and I fell and I hurt my wrist, and I don't even know if you can hear this or not. There's sort of a clicking sound right here. I don't, it seems to be okay when I go like this. I know, but when I go like this, listen. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that's bad. That doesn't sound good, does it? Uh, sounds like a bad case of plastic cup under the arm, does it? <laughs> well, that's the job of a magician to fool your senses. That time I fooled your sense of hearing. That's not very. That's very difficult to do. Now I'd like to fool your sense of smell. Here, pull my finger. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to give you a little warning. Most people are not from Chicago. Uh, if you're ever running the public transportation, looks like a lot of you do, I, uh, <laughs> I just want to warn you about a little game they try to play on the train with you guys. Uh, well, so I'll show you what it is right here. It involves this strange looking cup and what's inside, a tiny ball with a sweater on it, you see? Now, here, you take a look at that cup, pull it on inside, and uh, there you go. Well, Justin's little ball, but it's red. Ah. And, uh, there you go, get the sack. <laughs> Anything else in the bag? No, of course not. No. All right, good. Did you crawl around inside that cup, sir? Any, anything else in the cup? Are there any holes in that cup? Right here, there's a big hole right there. Because otherwise, it wouldn't be a cylinder. It wouldn't be a cup. There's one right there, too. Focus on the cylinder. Oh, oh. <laughs> Now here's the deal, folks. These folks on the train will try to get you to play this game. The object is to guess where the ball is. Guess where the ball is, you win some money. Now sometimes the ball is in the cup. Sometimes the ball is in the guy's pocket. Now if I drop the ball in the cup, where would you say is the ball? See how easy this is? Yeah. They always let you win the first time. That's the thing. Now I'm going to take the ball out of the cup and put it in my pocket. Now what do you think? this way. Now what do you think? Is the ball underneath the cup or is it in my pocket? Sir, what do you think? Are you awake, sir? I am. Uh, <laughs> No, it's actually in my pocket. You see, it's very simple. The first couple of times they let you win a couple of times, you'd owe me a dollar if we were playing for money, okay? But I'm not going to play for money this time. Now, this time, they, the third time, they try to trick you. I'll take the ball out of the cup, but I won't show it to you. I'll just put it in my pocket. So the question is, did I really put it in my pocket or not? No. Yes. Is it under the cup or is it in my pocket? What do you think? Oh, so close. It's in my pocket. <laughs> All right. Now, this time, I'm going to try to trick you. I'm going to put it under the cup so fast, you're not even going to see it go, okay? In my pocket, yes. <laughs> Uh-huh. The ball is nowhere to the cup. But that's the easy part. The hard part, again, is to make it go back to my pocket. Ta-da! <laughs> was that too fast? Oh, yeah. All right, then, a little bit slower this time. Here we go into my pocket. It goes. Watch this. Here's what I did before. <laughs> did you see it go? Is it under the cup or in my pocket? Any idea? Uh, oh, okay, it's right there under the cup. All right, yeah. <laughs> All right, maybe that was too fast for you, all right? I'll try it again in super slow motion this time, okay? I'll take the ball out of the cup and put it in my pocket. Now remember one thing, the ball goes in my pocket, okay? All right, here we go. Watch. Did you see it going in the cup? Yes. If it's there, you better get ready to applaud. You ready? Get ready. Hey! Yeah. You again, eh? Yeah. I don't like you anymore, sir. You <laughs> figured this out, haven't you? Should I tell everybody else? You're so polite. Thank you very much for outing me in front of everybody here. Uh, I mean, with the trick, anyway. It's uh... <laughs> No, the other way is I'm straight. It's okay. It's all right. It's uh... actually the late show. It's later on. Um, you figured this out, though. I have two balls, right? Exactly right. Here's the thing, folks. I always keep one ball in my pocket, and I always keep one ball under the cup. So that way, I can be, I can make you be either right or wrong, depending upon how I feel about you at that moment. Now, here's the thing. This is the ball that I let you look at before. It's the one with the sweater on it. I couldn't find two balls exactly alike. That's the whole thing. 
because I'm not you know, an expert at this. So the other one I keep under the cup, I don't like to show it at all. This is the one that I keep under the cup, see? That's the other ball. See, that's the one right there. But the, it looks so similar that, uh, well, the texture is the same, so nobody can really tell the difference. You feel that? That's nice, isn't it? No, that's real, Beverly. That's real. You know what the weird thing is? This ball doesn't fit under that cup. Do you know why? You know why? The other ball gets in the way. Oh. There you go. That's it right there. All right, good. Well, there you go. So do me a favor. Don't play that game on the L, would you please? All right, good. Awesome. How am I supposed to get that back in there? Oh, I don't know. They make, uh, apparently, uh, when everybody was leaving the theater or the other uh, room, uh, somebody left an iPhone in the other room. Did anybody leave the, lose their iPhone? It's a pretty nice one. It's, uh, uh, no, that's an Apple. That's a good one. It's, uh, it's a nine, ten and a half, I think, isn't it? It's, uh, oh my gosh, it's vibrating. Hold on. Hello? Yes. It's not funny? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right, then maybe another card trick. Then what do you say, huh? All right, then, here you go. Hold on just a second. If only I had a deck of cards. Wait a minute! I've got the deck of medic. Oh! 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 Let's move on then. My sponsor for the evening. Uh, of course, we can't afford to bring performers such as myself here, you know, just with a ticket sales. So I have to have our show sponsor. And so I'd like to thank my sponsor. I'm sponsored today by uh, Butt Paste. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. If you laugh your ass off, try Butt Paste. Available <laughs> <laughs> all fine stores. All right, there we go. All right. Oh boy, that's a good one. <laughs> Oh, you have know one? Oh, that's a good one. It's a nice one too, isn't it? I know it. Uh -huh. I got it at one store down the street. And then I can give you this one. I can keep that one. That's a good idea. All right, good. Nothing. I don't want that. All right, good. Well, folks, I will have uh, t-shirts for sale after the show too. I forgot to mention. Uh, they're pretty nice. They're uh, three for ten bucks. They're uh, that's a good deal, actually. It's not too bad. All right. Good. Well, I can tell by the old clock on the wall, I've got time for just one or two more miseries. Mysteries of magic, and so, uh, let's move along, shall we? I think we should. I think I should do something dangerous for you just to close out my show this evening. Don't you think? Yeah. Is yeah. it something dangerous or a card trick? Dangerous. Alright, how about a dangerous card trick? That's a good idea. Now something more dangerous than that. Here we go, good. Right here. Yes. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these before. It's a little cigar cutter. Back in the day, back in the day, <laughs> the 90s, I'm talking about the 1990s, a lot of people were smoking cigars, and I got this back then. It's a fancy cigar cutter. The deal is, you put your cigar right through this hole here, and then you push down on it, and you see it cuts your cigar, and then you have an attractive holder for your cigar. Oh, it was a crazy thing. Everybody was smoking cigars back then. Uh, do you have a cigar? I can show you how this works. Do you have a cigar I can borrow? You have joints, I know that, but do you have any cigars? <laughs> Well, hold on a second, Beverly. Stand up just for a moment, if you would, please. That's good. There we go. Very nice. Here, I'll tell you what. Put your finger right in there. I can kind of demonstrate for you. Go ahead. Put your finger right in there. That's good. Put this right here. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, you can feel it on your finger, can't you? Yes. Yes. Do you know why? Because you've not yet been hypnotized. <laughs> I'm not only a magician, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a certified master hypnotist. So look me in the eyes and sleep. Do you feel hypnotized? No. That's the first sign. <laughs> All right, Beverly, put your finger through there. Sir, what is your name? Bill. Bill, would you hold up, hold up your hand? Hold on to the end of her finger right there, would you please? Now, this is very important, sir. Just hold her finger, okay? Don't pull her finger. That's a different thing. She didn't want to see that before.
Seriously, wake up. <laughs> ah, she'll wake up in three to five days. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, folks, you've been a great audience. I'd, uh, I've all the audiences ever performed for, by far you're the most recent. And uh, I want to thank you for that. I've, uh, <laughs> I've got to get out of here soon. I've got another show in March. So uh, <laughs> start getting ready for that. Uh, but uh, before I go, I'd like to uh, tell you that uh, uh, Ryan said before the show, I performed uh, across the country and around the world. It's true. I started doing magic when I was about nine years old. And uh, so that's been a long time ago. And the reason I started is because when I was in, when I was in the first grade, that's a true story, a magician came to our school. And he kicked me out of the audience. He had a strange little handkerchief he folded into a bag. He said, reach inside of the bag, and whatever you find, you can keep. And when I pulled my little grubby hand out of that bag, it was full of candy. <laughs> yeah, it was the 60s. You could give candy to kids then. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when I decided I wanted to become a magician. Because if you know magic, you can make candy. <laughs> it's worked out pretty well for me, I have to tell you the trick to do it. So I'll never forget the trick that that magician finished his show with, and so I'd like to do the same for you, for you this evening. He took a strange looking handkerchief, he rubbed it mysteriously between his fingers, and believe it or not, a beautiful dove made its appearance. It looked something? No, in fact, it looked exactly like this. Could I have a special mood lighting, please? Perfect, right there. Ladies and gentlemen, before your very eyes, the beautiful and mysterious the dove. Did you ever have a great time? Yeah.